Guys, welcome to Cooking with Cocktails with Kat and Nat. We couldn't wait, we just made a drink. Sometimes we make cocktails, sometimes we just drink cocktails. Well, oh my God, if it's Cinco de Mayo, soon. This is a great Cinco recipe. Cinco de Mayo? We are drinking a spicy tequila. It's Lazy Man. Lazy Man cocktail. Just go buy it. You know they have those juices at the grocery store that are like kind of healthy? Get your tequila and mix it with one of those. Like one of those lemon cayenne ones. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a little agave. That's what we have. And you're done. If you like mm. it sweeter, add some simple syrup or sugar. Mm. And if you don't, drink it like us. So we wanted to bring you this recipe because last night I was cooking for the kids and mm. I realized, do I take for granted? I thought everyone knows how to make guacamole. So I asked on Instagram, do you want me to share my recipe? And everyone was like, yes, I need to know how to make guacamole. So when I make the guacamole, everybody loves it. And people just go buy store-bought. I'm not, I don't like the taste of store-bought. It doesn't taste fresh. It tastes like it has like something in it that keeps it green for too long, which uh, like a fresh ripe avocado which will always turn brown. So this is a $25 recipe because avocados are f***ing expensive. These but were not. How much? No, I, I got a bag. I got them at Costco. Costco. I how, got a whole, I think I got a whole bag was like six bucks. So you could like go to Amazon and get a whole bag of avocados. We will link everything down below for you guys. Your shopping list is available. Come on, let's now. get cooking. Oh my God, you brought a real garlic. You just didn't trust me. No, 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 no. You have to have fresh garlic, guys. For guacamole, I like when you go to those restaurants where they they cook it for you on yeah. the side table, mm -hmm. everything's gotta be fresh. One thing I like to do when I get started is have a garbage bowl close by. This is for all my cooking. That's a garbage bowl? Sounds a little bit loserish, but okay. Mm, Cause otherwise you leave your kitchen a mess or you have too much walking. Cause we are so neat too and tidy. We're so neat and tidy here. Too much it's walking. insanity. We are I, like I don't need to get my steps in the kitchen. You know what I mean? Okay. So I'm gonna move these things off so I have a little space to work, okay? First, yeah. I'm gonna show, do you have a garlic peeler? Somebody bought a garlic, a garlic peeler, peeler, the round thing that you roll. Pretty sure Someone that's it. recently tagged us and said, I got a garlic peeler because of you and I literally have no idea how to use it. Okay, okay. Oh, and then it goes in the garbage bowl. So here's how you smash a garlic, okay? Go like this, smash. Okay, then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna chop. No, you're, yeah, like you are. Like this, watch. Wait, you're gonna go put it in the mortar and pestle after. Wait, we're not done yet? No, if you like garlic flying all over your kitchen, you're, that's fine. I think, I think that is very effective. This f***ing thing. What? The mortar and pestle? This thing. This will you turn it into this. a paste. You love, you just I don't have one. You mortar and pestle. Oh, listen, I don't have one in my house. So she has one. So we're going to use it. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in there. I want you to turn this into a paste. Oh, that's the job that's I did. That's your job. All right, avocados. How do you know when they're ready? This little thing falls off easily. I and that's when you know it's ready. I have this. Empty. Like, you know, like. No, I don't. I've yes. never done what it like. Yeah, no. you're gonna turn it into a paste, Mamacita Margarita. What 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 is the difference between between this and you? Wow, <gasps> that is a perfect avocado, Mrs. Fogato. Okay, these are beautiful. Oh, oh. So there's so, just simple ingredients to a fresh guacamole. Wait, is this done yet? I uh, know. I think a little more. You're lying. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know what someone said? Mm. That you and me in the kitchen is like a teenager and a mom <laughs> who go in the kitchen and disagree on everything that's yes, going on. Yes. They're like, it's like you're that me and perfect. and Kat is the kid who's like, there's this too. But come on. Okay, that's you're a, good. Now what you're gonna do yes, okay, is you're gonna add this garlic into the guacamole and you're gonna mash it. But I don't want it so mashed. Like I still like the chunk. Tomatoes, you want to mash before you add the tomatoes because you don't want your tomatoes to be all mashed up. Now, plum tomatoes are the tomatoes you use. Let me just get my garlic out. We're going huh. to move the seeds. Could use a spoon so that sound doesn't <laughs> cringe your life. Oh, jeez, yeah, somebody help me. 
See this? You know what? You scoop out the seeds. You add a lot of extra steps in cooking. <laughs> a lot of... It's a, it's the joy of cooking. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to eat, you know. Some people don't use tomato. I like Wait, tomato. Wait, you're scooping out the, the seeds. Guts? You don't want the seeds in your guacamole. Oh, you just want the fresh... Lot. Okay, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot. We're not mashing tomatoes, Got Catherine. It. We don't want to bruise them. Catherine. We want them to be nice and firm. Catherine. 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 All right, we're That's when I'm in trouble. I'll just take... Ah! <laughs> That is again, you know All what right. I mean? That's a vagina. Oh, that is a, that, that is a full go. fajin. Okay, so not too, you know, you want to leave some chunks, you know, because you don't want it to be too mushy. And you're going to do a little How of do you mash it without mashing it? Just, you know, you don't want to puree it. You know what I'm saying? Like the chunks are really, really part of the, of the joy of the avocado. Careful. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Now what I want you to do, I want you to use this, my favorite kitchen ingredient, the microplane. Oh! I want you to go and I want you to do a little bit of the zest of the lemon inside. Don't grate your hand for goodness sake. This is actually not gonna use that. Well. Ow! No, you Ow! didn't! No! No! No, you didn't! Yeah, just a bit. Okay, so she see how she went to the pilf? <laughs> the who? The pilf? The what? The pilf? This pilf? The pilf. Do you mean the pulp? I can't believe you put the pilf in there. <laughs> oh, is it the... <laughs> Wait, what the hell? But when you grate anything, you just grate the color. Don't go to the Are bitter Are you talking about pilf. the pulp or the pilf? Now you're gonna get a fork and you're gonna put the juice of a lime inside. You know how we do it, I taught you that, you got that. I'm gonna do another half. Here we go, this is not a very ripe one, but what you do is you stick in, stick it in. <coughs> okay, <I'll stop. laughs> All right, okay. So we're gonna use very finely chopped red onion, not too much. Okay, that's all I'm gonna use. Because we don't have too much, you have to assess based on how much like, you know, avocado you have. Now my microplane cut is singing. Do oh, it's bleeding. I'm bleeding. I'm officially bleeding. I'm bleeding. I'm gonna add some onion in there. I'm going to add the tomatoes in there. Okay. Now, jalapeno. Hey, jalapeno, hey, no, hey, la, la. Hey, mama, sit hello, hey, mama. Mama, sit qué bonita. Mama, sit The heat is in the seeds, okay? The so heat, you're gonna what? want it. The heat is in the seeds. That's really? So you're gonna wanna take, well, the most of the heat. I'm gonna use a half a jalapeno for this, okay? Uh, I wouldn't like you to start eating, please. <laughs> Ow! I'm just gonna like see if we need more lime. Okay, good one. That's 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 very reasonable. Okay, Natalie, you're onto something here. Now we're gonna drop the jalapeno. Careful, your life. You know what else is really? Mm. Okay. Now you're you, gonna mix that up. I'm gonna tell you something. You made a little mess. Add some pepper in here. You could ask add Tabasco. You could ask right. add Worcestershire. And you wanted to taste. So let's give it. Let's put some chips down here. Oh my God, we're really good, Natalie. Okay, let's go. I actually take everything back that I said to you. Oh my God, oh my God. It's worth it to make your own, guys. I know, we can eat that all day, isn't that good? Mmm, mm. so fresh. Mm. And you can just go down. Just Mowtown. Go to Mowtown, sit in front of the TV, watch mm. your show, eat your- Or by a pool. Uh. Guys, mm. if you enjoyed this video, mm. yeah, go ahead. Which you did, because you're still here. Mm. Like and subscribe. Give us two thumbs up or one thumb up. What is it? One thumb up and a comment. Turn on your notifications so that every time we have a new cooking video, it comes up so you can go watch it. You've said you've been loving the videos. We will not stop. Have a great day. Come hang out with us on Instagram. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm.